First things first, some perspective. Theo Walcott scored 108 goals in 397 appearances for Arsenal at a rate of a goal every 3.7 games. At his best, Walcott's raw, inhibited speed electrified our scene winger teams. He was the pocket rocket that helped his side storm back to draw 2-2 against Pep Guardiola's brilliant Barcelona in 2010. He scored crucial goals to seal Champions League qualification against the Dinnies in 2012. He has scored several memorable goals in impressive Arsenal victories over Arsenal. Theo Walcott is set leave Arsenal after 108 goals in 397 appearances at the club. Walcott has been a fine servant for Arsenal yet there is a sense of underachievement in 2006. Walcott was in England's World Cup squad before playing a senior Arsenal game for England. He produced arguably the greatest individual performance of the current millennium on the night he cut Croatia to ribbons as a 19-year-old in 2008. It was the first competitive England hat-trick since Michael Owen in 2001. It feels strange to be talking about Walcott's prowess in the past tense when last season saw one of his most proficient efforts. With his 19 goals bettered only by the 21 he scored in the 2012-13 season, he scored against Liverpool, Chelsea and twice against Manchester City last season. So let us not speak about Walcott as a failure or a write-off. Walcott has been a fine servant to Arsenal and for extended periods justified Wenger's faith. The evidence of this season can skew perceptions and some may wonder what Sam Allardyce has seen of late to convince him that Walcott retains the burning hunger to succeed at the highest level. At the age of 28, he retains sharp pace and a cool sense of detachment in front of goal. Over the last 12 years, Walcott's raw. Inhibited speed electrified our scene Wenger teams. Walcott is set to join Everton in a deal of around £20 million after more than 10 years at Arsenal. In the 2012-13 season, Walcott scored 21 goals, his best return in a season so far in his career. Appearances 397. Goals 108. Honors FA Cup 2015, 2017. Community Shield 2015, 2017. England 47 caps, 8 goals. Yet despite the pleasing goal records, a sense of underachievement lingers. We should remember just how highly Walcott was once regarded by English football. At the 2006 World Cup, where he was ludicrously overpromoted by Sven Goran Eriksson as a 17 year old, his teammates called him Lewis Hamilton because he was quicker than a Formula One racing car. Eriksson visited Arsenal's training ground to watch several training sessions, one of which was an 11 aside game played on a half a pitch and studied videos of the lower tier matches Walcott had played for Southampton. In Walcott's first competitive football match as a 10-year-old schoolboy for Steventon, he scored the perfect hat-trick header. Right foot, left foot, childhood coach Steve Newberry compared him to an Olympic sprinter and used to tell rival coaches we've got a Brazilian, Andy Ritchie. His youth coach as a teenager at Southampton described Walcott as George Best all over, riding thing tackles. Debilitating injuries such as cruciate knee ligament damage in 2014 have hindered Walcott in 2010. Walcott produced a stunning display as Arsenal drew 2-2 against Barcelona. His England hat-trick in Croatia in 2008 was a sensational display on the international stage. This is the lesser spotted Walcott. The one that fearlessly commits defenders and leaves them trailing in his wake. The reasons for Walcott's malaise are various. He has suffered debilitating injuries, particularly cruciate knee ligament damage in 2014, yet there is more. Walcott had that curious spell where he fancied himself as a central striker but his managers disagreed. Walcott may have had a point. Defenders are intimidated by speed and his finishing often demonstrates a greater football brain than his detractors suggest. 
but Walcott is one of several young English footballers who plateaued under Winger's guidance, along with talents such as Jack Wilshire. Alex Oxlade Chamberlain and Karen Gibbs Walcott pictured with club legend Thierry Henry who returned to Arsenal on loan in 2012. Walcott always backed himself to play as a striker due to his impressive finishing. Walcott's capacity to veer from sublime to ordinary is a caricature of wingers' teams. These players appear to fall into a comfort culture at Arsenal. Where fourth place would do and they rarely reached for the stars on a personal or collective level in many ways. Walcott's capacity to veer from the sublime to the ordinary is a caricature of Wenger's teams during the past decade. He is a player as capable of providing an 8-10 performance as he is a 5-10 and many who have observed him frequently identify. A footballer who too often shirks the challenge when the tide swings against his team. Walcott is a player as capable of providing an 8-10 performance as he is a 5-10 in the last 174 Premier League games. He has featured in only 88 at Arsenal. Walcott seemed to grow comfortable at Arsenal. At Everton, the comfort blanket will be off. Certainly, his time at Arsenal has ended in demoralizing fashion. In the last 174 Premier League games, he has featured in only 88. On his 28th birthday, England manager Gareth Southgate called and informed him he would not be in the England squad and a frank exchange of views followed. His response since has underwhelmed. The sad facts of this season are this. Walcott's only goals for Arsenal have come against Doncaster and Big Borisov. A dreadful 4-2 defeat by Nottingham Forest proved the nader at Everton, at least. There is hope of redemption in a team that requires his speed and a manager who clearly trusts him from here. The comfort blanket is off and it is up to Walcott to succeed.